So what do you do if a boat comes back and the cylinders have got low compression? This is something that comes up from time to time. And the next question that comes after that is how much will it cost to fix this problem? So obviously you know that one of the cylinders has low compression and you wanna figure out why. It's either cylinder heads or something related to the bore. The easiest way to do that is to put a boroscope down, have a look at the valves, check for any corrosion, check that they're not getting stuck. And you can also have a look at the bores to see if there's any scoring. If you know there's no scoring in the bore, it's less likely to be rings and it's definitely cylinder heads, you're gonna be up against something a lot cheaper. So cylinder heads can be put off in the boat, the compression can be fixed and away you go. If you find the bores are all scored, you know it's gonna be a major, the engine's gonna to have to come out and it's gonna be upwards of $10,000. So I know some people are gonna say, what about a cylinder leak down test? That is a very good option and it is quite accurate in telling if it's an intake or an exhaust valve. But the reality is if you're on a mooring, you don't necessarily have an air compressor and that's just not something that can be done easily. So what I do is I've got a boroscope. I'll stick that in the bore if we find low compression, check what's going on and we can get a much better indication of where it's gonna cost. 